Well, today's weather is starting a little cloudy, but that cleared up, making it a perfect time to have a run or for our overachievers out there. Let's try 26 and a half miles or so a marathon. Just about 7000 racers lacing up their sneaks and hitting the pavement for this year's Buffalo Marathon. And two on your sides, Keelan Berrien. He's a thin guy. He probably runs a lot. He's up on the roof now. Don't run off the roof up there. Uh, any more on the marathon and this year's winners, Keelan? Well, Ron, you know, that's one of my secrets I didn't tell you about. I'm a whole track star out here, okay? Whoa! <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. But look, the true winners of today's race are those individuals with health problems benefiting from those proceeds. But with today's race, there can only be one winner. So coming all the way from the Rochester area, Scott LaForth, he is this year's 23rd Buffalo Marathon winner. While many people are spending their holiday weekend firing up their grills and launching their boats, thousands laced up their running shoes and got their hearts pumping. The 23rd annual Buffalo Marathon was held today. Runners from 17 countries and 46 states all took the tour of Buffalo on foot. Man, that was so cool to see that finish line and know what my time was and know that I could do it if I put in just one more little surge. That's the first female finisher, Jenny Keenan, a Buffalo native achieving a personal goal in this race. You never know who's going to be out here on any given day, and women are fantastic and can do extraordinary things. So I was really out here to try to hit a personal best today, and I did that, and that's really what was more meaningful than anything else. For your hardcore runners and your not so hardcore runners, all in all, this is a great benefit for a cardiovascular initiative with Buffalo General Medical Center. It was gorgeous today, kind of overcast. It was a little foggy to start, which made it really magical and pretty cool to be out there that first half. Those who will benefit from the $1.7 million raised are the true winners, but on race day, there can only be one. That's a PR for me, about a minute and a half PR. I think I broke 220. It was real close, but I think I just dipped under, so excited to get through uh, that milestone. So that was a goal of mine. And there he is, Scott LaForte. My watch paused at 2.21. Being from the Rochester area with an extensive running career, this is his first time running in the Buffalo Marathon. It is pretty lonely out there in the back half uh, once you kind of get out away from where the half marathon finishes. But when you hit this final home stretch, that was just a different kind of energy, and that was really fun to finish up in that sort of crowd. So the marathon started out on Delaware Avenue, but ended out on Franklin Street. You know, and then after that, you know, our racers went out and celebrated achievements at a post-race party. Despite that, our two winners today said they're going to keep on training so they can stay in shape for their next race. Ron, we're going to send it back down to the studio. Come on, Keelan, put your hands up and act like you're breaking the finish line. Ah, ah there we go. There he is. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Keelan.